Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ballin', ballin'. Tony hey. cool go, cool. It's no rules, bro. Ooh. I got two. Good boys and girls, we're back with another reaction video today, and this one is to destroy lonely. So, um, this is part two of the reacting to artists I've never heard before. I put a poll up as usual um, on it was last week, but I had to skip a week because of the crazy drops. We had Drake, um, we had Bobby Shmurda, quite a few crazy drops. I had to skip it. So, we're back with part two. Um, this one's destroy lonely. So. You guys gave me some songs to listen to. Um, the ones with the most likes were like all together with, because everyone had, you know, there's a few people that commented. Um, we're gonna listen to, first off, Miley Cyrus, um, slash Yeah I right, because I saw there's a video for it, so I'll listen to that whole thing. And then we'll do Bane, and then we'll do um, In The Air, and then we'll do Dover Street Market. So those are the four. I mean, I meant to do three, but, um, I had to add in a fourth because Miley Cyrus was commented quite a bit. So, um, yeah, let's let's get into it though. Um, yeah, we'll do Miley Cyrus first. But before we do, before we get into the video, make sure you guys go and smash that big red button down below. That's going to make you a part of the most bass heavy reaction channel on YouTube. Um, you know, if you don't want to miss reactions to artists like Young Thug, uh, Future, Uzi, Playboy Cardi, be sure to also hit that post notification bell. Um, that's going to notify you when I drop all of these reactions. And other than that, like the video if you do enjoy, guys. First track, Miley Cyrus. Yeah, all right. Okay. This dude signed to Cardi, apparently. So that's exciting. Let's, let's get into it, man. Make sure everything's up. Okay. Let's go. She misread. Awesome! Yeah. I'm in this bitch with that gun. The bass, man, I like this bass. Yeah. I'm in this bitch working in this late night. Everyone, they gotta catch my flight. That ass bitch told me I don't play bass. And I'm like, damn, hold you. Straight up, I really like his flows already. Um, he's got, yeah, I thought he'd sound like Cardi because he signed to Cardi. Like Ken Carson, I listened to Ken Carson. He um, he didn't sound like Cardi, but he was, he had a very similar um, beat, beat choice, beat selection as Cardi and um the same influence of the this blonde hair man all the all of them have blonde hair so maybe this is this opium type of gang that has <laughs> blonde hair type shit i don't know but um yeah let's let's keep this going man Also, from now on, guys, um, I'm going to have to start rating tracks a bit more, sort of, I've been rating them too high recently with Drake and um, Donda and all this, Not maybe not Donda, but a lot of these albums and, and singles I've been rating recently, I've been doing it a bit too high, giving too many nines out. So we're going to tone it down and give these as genuine ratings as possible. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to give give anything too high, but um, I like this dude, man. He's he's got a nice flow to him. Let's keep going. Okay. So I assume that was Miley Cyrus, and then he's he's got half the song. Miley Cyrus, half the song. Yeah. I think. Why didn't you guys tell me to listen to this track? Yeah, I. Right. 
lucky this, I'm listening to the video because there was a track called Yeah and a track called Miley Cyrus. I wasn't going to do the video, but then I was like, fuck, man. I like this one better than Miley Cyrus already. It's just got more of the, um, more of that, um, the Cardi, uh, Cardi beat to it. The, the doom, doom. I, don't, I don't know, the, that, that sound in there is really nice. I like that sound. they can line up <laughs> bro he's got some um when i listen to these type of artists i don't care what they say i don't i couldn't give two shits what they say i'm i listen to the vibe you know i listen i i see what the how it makes me feel how it makes me move and the beats to it the beats are really important with these type of artists because i'm gonna be honest they're not they're not the most talented artists but the way that they can flow on a beat and just make you make the listener move to it that's that's what i listen to so similar to artists like tekka and uzi and stuff um but then you've got the other side you know the j cole the kendricks where you you properly listen into this um the lyrics but this, this dude's he's got some nice um he, he can ride he can ride a beat for sure so i like it let's go track it was two tracks in one but um only three minutes 48 so the two short tracks <sighs> miley cyrus i'd rate a i'm gonna be genuine with these a seven out of ten miley cyrus um yeah seven out of ten and then yeah i i give like maybe a 7.8 yeah, just not at that eight, but as I said, I'm 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 I'm, to, I'm going into these ratings as genuine as possible, taking into consideration high artists that are above them and artists that are below them, and and just where it should stand you know, rating wise. So I'd say seven point eight for Yai, seven seven um, for Miley Cyrus, but yeah, that was that was that track. Um, next one we got is Bane, so we'll listen to Bane now. This is his most popular track. Uh, it's got 1.6 mil views, so uh, listens. So he's got 131,000 monthly listeners on Spotify, which isn't too bad. So this one probably blew him up, I, I assume. So yeah, Bane. Um, let's get into it. Futuristic beat again. This is 
different, different guys. Um, I don't know if I like it. Let's keep going. Okay, it's got that bounce to it. She ride like a bike down into the bands. I assume if you're on some substance or you're like high as fuck, this would this would hit hard. This would hit extremely hard. You gotta it's 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 one you just vibe to like dun 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 dun, dun. like I don't know man. It's it's different. It's it's very cardi like big big cardi influence on this one. Um big cardi influence. So I see why this one's blown up. But let's keep going. <laughs> I like that hook. I'm gonna take the bitch and break her back like a bane or whatever it is. I like that hook. Yeah. Interesting, very interesting. I'm gonna say the beat, the beat carried that track quite a lot. I think the flows, he switched up the flows a little bit, like once or twice. Um, but I think the the beat itself was was a very nice beat, very, very hard beat. I don't know who produced it. Let's see if it says on the credits. Um, let's say the producer doesn't want to come up. Anyways, yeah, I like the beat a lot more than the actual rapping on that one. But still, nonetheless, a cool track. Um... I'd still say somewhere in the sevens. We'll give it like a 7.5. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10 for that one. If he reaches an 8 out of 10 or above an 8, I'll be really happy. Like, I'll be like, okay, this is a really good track. Like, anything above an 8 is a great track. So, these ones, they're cool tracks. Something I'd I'd play, but I don't know if I'd, I'd continue listening, um, you know, in the future. But it depends. It depends. If he's... We'll listen. We'll keep going. we got two more tracks to go. Bane, next one we got is In The Air. Yeah, In The Air. Okay. Let's go. The beat, ooh. This sounds like some dark intergalactic shit, man. Come on. So it seems like it seems like he's on this demon, demonic shit again. Um, with the whole opium, I feel like the whole opium gang is on that demon time. So yeah, this dude's talking about he has 
you know, he has black, he has a black cat, he has black diamonds, black shit everywhere, black on black on black, man, this is, he's just really dark, he's, he's got a dark vibe, but he's, I don't know, man, you can tell with his art covers as well, is like, they all just look really dark and, like, his Bane one had, like, a skeleton on his face or some shit, like, yeah, he's got some, he's got a dark aura to him, so, um, that's something to note, I guess. Let's keep going. I keep a pair designer bitches come in pairs. his tracks if he has a hook on it i feel like he performs well when he has a certain hook and he repeats that hook a couple times and it's like a catchy hook he's got to do more of that as opposed to just rapping without you know just a no hook type of track where he just keeps rapping um without without any sort of structure to the track i like it how he has this, a structure to this one mason Margella, and then he goes into a you know uh, under my umbrella, but then he has a verse. He has a, a proper verse next to it. So I like this track. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, could could hit the eights. Could hit the eights. Bass as well is fucking crazy on this track. Just know my number, yeah, getting rich I know I'm addicted to this money Money, got it, got it, got it Got it in the air, step up in it Bitch, I fly, fly, fly I'm in the air, no doubt Ring kicks, I'm not rocking flights Nigga, yeah, she got yeah. good pussy Tryna change my life, nigga, yeah I turned 18, I took 20 flights Nigga, yeah, before 19 I was 20, 20 racks, nigga, yeah Yo, bitch, yeah. like me, like me Throw it in the air, I Okay. Hmm. I'd say I'd give that the same as Yeah, right? Yeah, right. that the Yeah, right track was nice as well. Tied it a 7.8. I'd say give that one a 7.8 as well. I feel like he has a lot, lot more to improve on. I think he can, he can, don't get me wrong, man. He's, these beats and the way he's flowing on them, it's hard. He just needs to um, evolve his sound a bit more, keep on working on his sound, his flows, and he's gonna, he's gonna soar, man, with, with Cardi and, and Ken Carson, so, um, yeah, that was in the air, 7.8 for that one, last track we're gonna listen to is, uh, Dover Street Market, I think this is more of his, one of more of his recent ones, 2020, so yeah, sort of recent, I guess, yeah, Dover Street Market, let's go. You gonna play? I'm just fucking my Spotify, man. Hello, Spotify. What the fuck, man. Okay, Dover Street Market. Finally, Spotify wants to work. Let's go, Dover Street Market. <laughs> Already, this is like the complete opposite of the tracks of the beats that he usually uses. But I don't know if he's going to switch. This beat's going to go into dum dum on this like piano type of serene beat. It's weird, man. Okay. I like, I like the vibes. Give me some Mozart. <laughs> Run it back. These 
last two tracks I gotta run. Bro, this is one of the hardest beat transitions I've heard. No joke. I feel like I'm in France going shopping for some Chanel at night time or something. And then a fucking Cardi comes out of nowhere with this Destroy Lonely guy with a black cat just fucking boom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I turned up too much. Fine. Let's go back. Start it again. Put it back. No, 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 no. Start it again. As I was saying, I'm going in, I'm in France, I'm in Paris, shopping for some Chanel for my girlfriend back in Australia. And then I see Cardi in this back alleyway with Destroy Lonely and a cat with him. And you go, boom! I see why, I see why one of the comments, I think it was this guy MX Bape or something, the guy that actually wanted me to listen to Destroy Lonely that commented on one of my polls and he said he sounds a bit like, reminds me of Lil Keed a bit. With this track, I understand that, I understand that. He does sound like Lil Keed, he does. Right now, I said I just met, and I'm trying my best to forget it, man. Yeah, I bet that I do all the shit again. Yeah. You know that they money, we get it. Yeah. 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 She on her knees, she looking so pretty. This is like, if you could say, what's your favorite type of beat? This is it right here. It's got that like, that Mozart piano in the back, the da -da -da -da. No, Mozart's not a... Yeah, yeah, Mo the... Yeah. No, it's got that like, um... Yeah, the jazzy, not jazzy, but classy vibe. Came in really classy, you feel like you're... You know, just as I said, shopping in Paris or some shit. Um, looking for some high-end clothing, and then you just see a devil or Cardi out of nowhere, and then you hear this shit. What's going on? What's going on? No, 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 no. Uh, I lost where I was at. Anyways, we'll go like halfway through. Um, one sec. Alright, so we we're like halfway through this track. Something fucking, something went, went wrong with my Spotify again. Let's keep going. I'll go like halfway through. Something like that, I don't know. This song's my favorite so far. Very hard. Definitely my favorite. Dover Street Market, man. That sounded classy as fuck, but dark at the same time. I rate that shit. I will give that one as the last track we rate an 8.5, man. Ah, uh, that's a playlist one right there. I'm going to add that to my playlist. Anything 8.5 and above is like a playlist track for me. So I'm happy I listened to this guy, Destroy Lonely. Maybe, maybe we get another album from him, 2021. That would be very exciting. I'll definitely react to it. 
Um, I actually reacted to Kane Carson as well, um, his album. I got a lot of requests to react to that, so I did that one. That's up on my channel. I can, I'll leave the uh, link in the description as well to that. Um, but yeah, this Opium, Opium Gang, man, they're coming together nice, nice and strongly, man. They got, um, I'd say right now it's, I don't know who else is in this, in this um, crew, but right now Cardi's at the top of it for sure. Mad influence in the whole culture. And then Ken Carson below, and then I'd say Destroy Lonely right now for me. Ken Carson was hard. So um, I'd like to see all the other artists coming out of Opium. Uh, well, maybe maybe there's there's ones uh, that I don't know of that are even harder than this. Let me know in the comments. I might check them out. But that was the reaction, guys, to Destroy Lonely, Dover Street Market, my hardest favorite track out of those. But yeah, let me know what your favorite track by him was down below as well. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what he comes with in the future. I think he has a lot of potential. He, yeah, he can, he can make a big, real big if he wants to, if he wants to work on his sound a bit more, but, um, yeah, that's the reaction. Like the video guys, if you did enjoy, left timestamps down below as well for you guys to navigate if you wanted to. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're new and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. I'm wrecking it. Straight to the top, ain't no cap in it. We living like this a extravagant. Whole high country nigga I ain't never rich. Friend in each tree like they calories. Plats in my crib like a gallery. Dog in these hoes, I eat pedigree. My nigga, this nigga, them 40 degrees.